Jack, I want you to draw me like one of your French girls. Wearing this. Wearing this. Oh, here we go. Radar men from the moon. If you guys didn't notice, let's we're gonna da, da, we, da, da. We, we only got three left. There's we got we got 10, 11, and 12. I think this is 10. Oops. There it is. Yep. Oh no, mass execution. Oh yeah, just everyone's like what, dying. Just like what Putin is going to do now. <laughs> <laughs> the Russian jokes. <laughs> And I'm still not sure why the fuck the boy is there. Oh, they're going to the moon. Remember that? Go sideways to the moon. I love that. Okay, finally. Somewhere to land. Shoot the rock. It's a laser gun. Gonna survive. Man, if only we could do something like fly. Oh no, hide under more rock. That's the plan. That can doesn't have much roof, does it? No, it does no leeway. <laughs> That's really not practical. If I want to destroy anything, you know. I mean, what stops them from taking that literally just that top piece off and just shooting that? I mean, does it really need that huge anchor? I don't know. <laughs> but it sure has limitations. They aren't fooling anyone with those boxes. Just shoot one as a warning shot. This is serious. And Cody did escape. I heard the announcement. Seriously over bad. I must report to the moon. Hello, you got Uranus. Hey. <laughs> Man, they always call when I get out of the shower. Come in, Krog. I have very bad news, Your Excellency. Commando Cody has upset our plans for destroying well, the rocket. What a spoon has to look the like the moon. Has been landed. This is Damn, he looks like a caricature. <laughs> is it... Not him, the other the other guy. Look, but he looks like someone just drew him. I'm going to fly down to Earth at once and take charge of operations myself. I will welcome your help. What, what's up with his eyes? The face? Yeah. Makeup. He could not resist the makeup. We must delay the completion of any ray guns on Earth. Until my invasion fleet is ready. Someone hit him with an ugly yes, bat. Cody and his assistants must be destroyed. Oh, but well, not interesting enough for us to see whatever they were saying. <laughs> the Lunarium arrived safely at the Government Atomic Laboratory and have already started converting it into a compound suitable for use in the ray gun. How long will that take? Shut Stop up! Down, I'm afraid. Oh, no. Oh, my God! <laughs> <laughs> You're not allowed to say that. Yeah, I am. <laughs> no. The moon ruler told me himself he was planning the attack, but he didn't say when. The time element is vital. Let's go over in detail what happened on your trip to the moon. Perhaps what time zone is the moon in? They plan to strike. All right. Does it even have time? <laughs> they say 3 p.m. Is it like next Sunday? <laughs> when we reach the moon, I oh, that's not interesting enough to watch either. <laughs> it fades very quickly. Well, every time someone talks, it fades away. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
comes Commando Cody. I am Retic, ruler of the moon. Apparently you are expecting me. Of course. For many years our radio has kept us informed of events on Earth. And my men... It's like someone put... Has it been that many years? She's melting into his face. Language. Yes. All our people are required to speak <laughs> English. So we can operate more efficiently in your country. Why English? Telling me why your men are Could you just speak Japanese? Because America, that's why. <laughs> Get away from America! Why do you want to invade the Earth? Well, contact like the Russians. The on the moon has become so thin and dry, it is impossible for us to raise food, except in pressurized greenhouses. And none of us can move outside without helmets. So we are planning a mass migration to your world. You will find that conquering the Earth isn't so simple. We've already conquered the penguins in Antarctica. Oh my god. On the moon, we have an element. Right, we love that. Which is far superior to the moon. For atomic reactions. And we can completely control the force of these reactions. Enabling us to build atomic weapons ranging from huge cannons. So you will pay us one million dollars. Who can't? Very considerate of you to give me all this information. You deserve some reward for your long journey, but unfortunately, I cannot permit you to return to Earth with it. Maybe so you I were just monologuing before you killed him? Me. You didn't take away the wizard's staff? <laughs> so Should have thought about that before. Your now, I'm going to try that next time. I'm going to flip a switch and try to magnetically take a gun. Where'd you get that switch? Oh, it was a smoke gun. How come that gun didn't go to the magnet? It must be made of a plastic. Just like oh. his jetpack. <laughs> Get out of the way, Commander Cody. I want to kill my own guy. He's welcome to do that. Wait, he's got to change a bullet every time? That is so impractical. Bye, Felicia. We would need a ray gun That's a damn would... thick door, you know? So the next day, Ted and I went back and turned nitrous oxide into their ventilating system. When Reddick and his guard became unconscious, Ted waited while I went in and got a ray gun. But before we... Oh, we're watching everything that's happened already. <laughs> that's what this is. Are you for real? I think they just got bored with this episode and said, let's just recap. <laughs> <laughs> I remember this. This was their escape plan to just run away with the gun into a cave. That looks like a cave. Let's get in there. What else yeah, would it be? Yeah, that looks like a cave. <laughs> this is an Acme tank, obviously. them in there yes, God got to help us we get out of this thing right. oh I'm melting melting how can a pretty girl like you destroy my wickedness Oh, man, rape just chest like me. They've turned the ray gun into the side of the cave. They've turned the ray gun into the side of the cave. Never mind the gun. He's asking me to make a lot of racist jokes in his name. <laughs> you real? 
<laughs> Maybe we can get out along that side. But what about that tank? We may be able to take care of it. Or how? <laughs> how would you take care of the tank? Ah, oh, that's no way. Let's try this one. To lose that ray gun, but it would only have been good for a few shots without another charge for the lunarium. And now that we have the lunarium, we can build our own ray guns and pistols. Yes, we brought back one of their ray pistols. Ray pistols? What? <laughs> ray pistols? <laughs> 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 All right, let's try it on roof. Yeah. <laughs> pistols, okay. It's fairly simple. Like that was part. definitely a grape. <laughs> that's that's totally what we're gonna do if we get lunarium. We're gonna make rape pistols. <laughs> they look like vacuum clean salesmen. From There's door to door. The <laughs> Put the hose in and turn the gas on. Oh, oh, if this is going the way that I think it's going, this is going to be hilarious. I have no idea what that would look like. We must start manufacturing these weapons at once. Wouldn't it be better to save the Lunarium for bigger guns? They're what we'll need to stop an invasion by rocket ships. Excuse me, but isn't it getting awfully stuffy in here? I'll open a window. Looks like the, the, the oh, lady don't soul is working. <laughs> so that's what it's meant to do. Make your enemy fall asleep. <laughs> and after that you can rape. <laughs> It's it's uh if you wanna know how big the bully it is, it's uh Cosby caliber. Now the name makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> She's dead. Oh no, man, you cannot escape. Please. You're oh. going to be raped too. I use the rape pistol on you too. Must call sex line. And the next episode will be so gay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, gunfire, gunfire, she just sits there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's not like she can do anything anyway without a gun. <laughs> and who wants to shoot the woman? Yeah. They're gonna pursue the victims. Also, I'm sorry for that. I'm sorry for not putting uh, the comments up. Um, I was all getting into Commander Cody there, and I completely was reading but not putting up comments. You've been forgotten. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> you may scroll in as much as And in what? All already. Must call Biden. Joe Biden? Wait, that didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> <They died. laughs> that didn't happen at all. What the? F Uh, 
uh, let me let me rush to get in there. I just casually walked out. So we'd probably watch the censored oh, version of they last used the right time's pistol. episode. Oh, oh someone's getting the raped. <laughs> yeah. Your turn next. Oh, he's getting the the boat. Not picky. Drag him by the ears. Oh, he could just walk. <laughs> well, I that, <laughs> he was faking it. the last one to fall. Here. I think. I'm all right now. He seems to be coming around, all right? Somebody <laughs> took a shot at me from outside. I'm going to go look for them. You better stay here with him. Oh. Are they still in the cop car? I can't tell. All these cars look the same. They look exactly the same car. They look cool. Come on. Oh, they're dead. Wait for me. That's my car. Oh, oh he's not getting anywhere. Somebody stole my car. I've got to get to a phone and report it. The gas <laughs> really? is in there. You just walked back in the gas room. Hey. <laughs> Let him faint. You have to get closer. Calling all cars. Calling all cars. A black sedan has been stolen from in front of Cody Laboratory. Last seen going north. Get after him. Cody must have taken the cop's car. I hope they take after him instead of us. There. Look at all the black sedans! They're every car no. is a black sedan! It's probably the same motorcycles to too. There's a motor cops right behind us. Once the cops are on our side, all we have to do is stay ahead of Cody a little longer. 1935 had a favorite. <laughs> the Mustang. The every way you'd say all cars are the same. Try to get alongside and I'll use that gas grenade. You can modify what? them though. Huh? Can all the police carry chemical we like weapons Chemical's in their vehicles? Is that a thing? I don't know. Pardon me, Ask do you have police. any gray coupon? Try again, that threw me off balance. What a moron! <laughs> oh, let me get another one! <laughs> uh, the woman is just get calmly driving through all of that. <laughs> you had one job! Don't drop the gas canister. Something's wrong with our car. Slow down. Wait, you're the bad guy trying to run away. But in this case, only the man failed his job. Get out with your hands up. Put the gun down, sir! Bang, 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 bang! Oh. Well, handle this. Wait a minute, officer. I'm Commando Cody. These men tried to murder us in my laboratory. Yeah, well, all I know is that you stole the police car. So I'm taking the whole bunch of you down to the station. Come on, get in the car. I'll leave. Certainly, officer. It's a good idea. And this is how it ends. Commander Cody raped in prison. You must have done some bad talking to get out of that. No. As soon as I convinced them who I was, everything was all right. Did you find out anything from Graber and... They had a great Augie. They denied they ever used the ray gun or that they have anything to do with the planned invasion from the moon. But you can testify that you've seen them using the ray gun. I could, but I'm not going to. What? Because I'm a really? dick. <laughs> They're just hired thugs. And whoever let, is boss... Let them go free. Hire someone else to operate the ray gun. Now you couldn't even try? Murder is loose. I know it looks that way, but it's the only way to locate their headquarters and perhaps smash the whole gang. How do you figure that? Commander Cody's a vigilante. The police to release them and trail them until they leave town. Then they'll oh, be man. The they'll off. remind me. Still can't figure Cody, out how you to ain't no Batman. Baby. Yeah, did seem kind of phony.
I think we're being followed. There's a car back there, and it might be tailorless. Do we run for it? Not yet. No, okay. you're in a car, for crying out loud. You Calling drive. Commander Cody. <laughs> Calling Commander Cody. This is Commander Cody. Come in. Your men are headed out of town on Highway Number 19. They are driving at a moderate rate of speed. They should pass the <laughs> limits in about... So they're driving the speed limit. A moderate rate of, rate of speed. Well... Hope it works. Well, sure compared to now, this dad okay, is definitely more red. Casual jog outside. Looks mint green. This is black and white movie. What the fuck? Where's the green? <laughs> Where's the green? <laughs> if anything looks mint green, I would actually eat it. Because I like mint chocolate. <laughs> Ice cream. That car turned off, so I guess it wasn't following us. Head for the cave. Right. Oh, another cave. How many caves are there? Oh, it's At least the same two. <laughs> Unless it's the same one. No, that cave was on the moon. I'm pretty sure we've been mentioning before any caves. Can you imagine Marvel buying this property? <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> Unless they want to modify it uh, to Netflix. I mean, Commander Cody would be a lot like, what, the Scarlett Johansson character, only with a rocket pack. So, I mean, he'd immediately be cooler. As long as he's not, as he's not the uh, arrow. What the better modify this shit if they ever remake this? <laughs> Isn't that where Frodo lives? I'm not even sure where he lives. In a hobbit hole. Damn. Looks like a mine at least. I can't understand the why they let you off so easy. But it's very fortunate you came back when you did. Reddy has arrived. He can they invented an, a rocket. I'm sure. Cave in the east side of the old Mount Knock Henry dog, mine. you have gas. I just spoke to him by radio. He wants us to arrange for four more trucks. A picture radio. To We're gonna call it a television. Okay. We'll go to town and get them. This is before Batman's time. Get those hands higher. Oh wait. <laughs> That's exactly what I would have done. <laughs> Cody. Get him. He's gonna one handedly defeat them all. All you gotta do is like take like a metal bat and just ring his helmet like a bell. He'd be done. Can't be that hard to hit a bullet. Well, oh, he's gonna hand. do it! He's gonna do it! <laughs> Go do it! Bring it! Bring it. Oh. No. We're just gonna watch from here. I still don't get what the point with the bullet head. <laughs> just threw a cardboard box at him. <laughs> Is it too high design dead? Is it? Oh! Oh, what? Can't protect them much from the atmosphere. <laughs> Alright, now Kick it's mud, mud wrestling time. Kick that up. Use your elbow. Between the legs! Oh, this is definitely. Did we win? Oh 
don't know, you're stuck. That's not be great. Okay. You can hit the head. But you didn't. Oh, damn! I mean... <laughs> what the fuck happened? What the hell? <laughs> More chop sandwiches! <laughs> oh no, he's dead. It just took a chance to kill him. Okay, so he's not dead. He's not so... dead. No, he obviously. You cannot fool me now. We didn't see it. But he obviously flew out of there. <laughs> Why doesn't he just fire up his rockets and bend over? This time they can't fool me. He didn't get fried or anything. <laughs> All right, so here's the decision time. Uh, there is only one Commander Cody left. There's only one radar man from the moon left. Do we oh, watch yeah. it or do we go to the feature presentation? Well, I'm here anytime, so whatever. Should we? Should we not? Uh, oh. We might as it? well. <laughs> we might as well. <laughs> we might as well. All right, last one. This is the finale of Radar Men from the Moon. Oh! <laughs> you just sound like your picture right there. No way. Oh, my God. He just yeah he did he just listened they're like this is the worst radio show ever it's just boop, boop, boop. is that supposed to be radio one of those new fan dangled radios It kind of looks like a gate. That guy just did a Willem scream. I would be more convinced if he actually moved a little bit more than that. Commander Cody does his own stunts. So what do we do now? This is Retic, ruler of the moon. You will carry out Krog's orders. Get the men and the trucks necessary to operate my ray guns. I'm... Michael, is this not actually what? <laughs> not dead yet. I'm getting better. Slowly. Surely. What color car is that? Fuse? <laughs> it's the color of your pubes. I didn't know humongous was a color, but sure. <laughs> okay, what do we do now? We play what the dub Monday. Monday we play. This is only two days away. Oh my god, Monday. Partially ground the current, so I was only knocked out. But the other man was killed instantly. From what you've told us, he must have been the leader of the moon forces here. I think so. But now that Reddick is on Earth, he'll take command. And if Graber and Daly carry out their orders, he'll soon have a strong force of men and ray guns. Then we I totally won the fight. They didn't they didn't he has ray guns there. It won't be easy. Knock me out and run away. But at least we can get the ray gun in Krog's cave and use it ourselves. I'll arrange to have it picked up at once. If you will have it mounted on a truck, it can be taken directly from there to the mine. Ted and I will go out and scout around so we can move in on them as soon as the ray gun gets there. I'll get it to you as quickly as possible. Yes, sir. Do you know 
know exactly where the Mount Henry mine is? Yes, it's an old abandoned one. It has two entrances. Another cave? For crying out loud! We have not had enough caves to spot yes, today. Hello? That is a whole job, just to answer the phone. Yes. Those two men you asked me to watch for just came in. Um, he won't mind if he's being picked well. Looks like they're trying to work up a deal. It looks like they're having ice cream. Oh, I'm jealous. <laughs> oh, wait, never mind. Yeah, that ice cream probably sucks. Moon ice cream. Ah, uh, no. 9035 ice cream. 9035 ice cream. I definitely like the tablecloth patterns. I'm out of here. Well, that's all the classic for any fast food place or Italian place. This is like this reminds me of like the old west, like but they're they're in an, a cafe, not a bar. Well, they definitely got the space for it. What is that picture of that woman going out of the background? <laughs> I was looking at it too! Guy behind the bar is like, <laughs> all right, guys, come down now, guys. You can all have coffee. I mean, you can just drink a cup of coffee by your busters. What were you gonna go over the table to get him? <laughs> now I gotta clean this up. Yeah, that bartender was just like, you know what? Fuck it. I, I don't even care. <laughs> Gonna leave. I'm going to clean this up later. <laughs> We're going moderate rate of speed. Keep rolling. I was shaking them off. They never hit anything. Not from that distance. Why are they even trying it? Maybe it's a strategy to make sure that they don't get closer than they should. Yeah, Michael, what did you buy for your, uh, your son? I don't got nothing! <laughs> oh, bunker! Another, another right way to burn nature. No chance of getting them out of that. No. That's because it was a model. <laughs> <laughs> Again with the cannon. Everything all right? Seems to be. We were delayed getting hey, here. Hey, Father the Fire. The mind. So you stay here with the gun while we do some scouting. Yes, sir. All right, we'll scout this way first.
should be here by now. Go out to the mine entrance, see if there's any sign of them. Yes, sir. Oh, they're walking in step. Come on, guys. Stop step. Let's take a look inside. <laughs> Guns are blazing. We're gonna look inside. Welcome to another cave. lazy with these last three. It's literally <laughs> just people shooting at one another, not hitting anything. Gun shoot, fist fight, and all that shit. They had no time for anything else. How come none of these guys have ray guns? Or ray guns? Oh, they ran away. They ran out of it. I'm they leave one at the police station or something? Oh, you got me! Oh, finally, someone got shot. You take that time, I'll take this one. You can't really expect them to have flashlight everywhere. They're not miners. You're dead. It's a rocket. Oh. You don't need a flashlight, you have a rocket. He's getting away in his rocket. Let's get to the truck. You're gonna follow him in the truck? Follow a rocket in the truck. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. We're just gonna drive to the moon. Let's go! Oh, okay. Alright, I'm perfectly safe. Nothing can get me. They'll look behind you. Now that Reddick's dead. We feel sure there's no immediate danger of an enemy invasion from the moon. <laughs> Flashlight. We have time Did you make to sure to check his defense. body. Will you want us to make another trip to the moon to see what's going on? I don't think so. Now that the moon men's attack has failed, we can make the whole story public and the military authorities can take charge. But we will need more of your rocket ships, Commander. So I suggest you make plans for going into their manufacture on a large scale. Before we get started on ships using regular rocket fuel, let's do some experimenting with atomic power from Lunarium. That might be pretty hard to control. No, I've got it all figured out. Now stand back, please. <clears throat> Look, by setting the controls on this model rocket, I can make it slowly circle the room and come right back. Watch. Here we go. You just lit the window on fire. Oh, I should have impaled him. to slowly circle the room and come back. At least it did come back. <laughs> oh, that that's a joke. Oh. <laughs> it's not exactly a boomerang, though. Wait, didn't they blow up that rocket? Oh no, they didn't. They had an extra one. <laughs> oh. And that's the end of Raider Man of the Moon. Raider Man of the Moon. Well, Bum forever. The moon. Oh. All right, so we got a movie here somewhere. Where the heck is? Oh, here it is. Boom. Boom, bam. All right, so feature presentation: The Hound of Baskerville, Sherlock Holmes. Should be a pretty decent movie. Watson. The book's good. 
Oh, never mind. <laughs> that was just really loud. And that's from your end. Dang, that's like really sharp that's loud. Cool. The hound of the Baskervilles. Oh, Bessel. Alright, natural Follow? boost line at will. John Carradine's in this. If you remember from Satan's cheerleaders, uh, oh. that was the guy who's like, he was the one that was, um, your dad's gonna give me money? How much money is he gonna give me? Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> yeah, who is, that's John Carradine. Oh, <laughs> uh, we gotta read. In all England, there is no dis district more dismal than the vast expanse of primitive wasteland, the moors of Dartmoor in yeah. Devonshire. Oh, that looks like the house I live in. Nice house. <laughs> Let's move in. Man, it's like I'm running in place and there's just a screen behind me. <laughs> <laughs> Look great, I found a house. Oh, no. He took too many blue pills. They were free. Oh, oh, he's going to rape them. Oh, he just had to he's, check the he's, he's doing a package check. <laughs> he's still oh, man, wrong? I'm just checking the time. That's all he did was check the time. <laughs> time on the day. <laughs> My wife and I found him lying dead in the U alley, face downward. What did you do then? I hurried across the moor to fetch the doctor, Dr. Mortimer. He was at dinner with Miss Stapleton and her brother. Very well, Barrowman. That's all. Yes, sir. Dr. Mortimer, to what do you attribute the death of Sir Charles? Heart failure, sir. David I might add that for some time, Sir Charles was Maybe, in a highly nervous know. state. Worried. Something was preying on his mind. And did he confide to you what was preying on his mind? Well. Oh, he's afraid of the woman. No. Well, then what about those footprints, Mortimer? As though Sir Charles had been tiptoeing back Reminds me of Sigmund Freud. I examined them myself. And as a man of science, I... Did I, Mr. Stapleton? More oh, that's way before running, he's talking, running, isn't it? Running from what? Ah, if you please, off. gentlemen, one at a time. Why don't you tell the truth, all of you? Tell all you know. Silence, Mr. Franklin. You've already testified you were not there, know nothing whatever of this matter. Nevertheless, I insist he was murdered. Murdered, I tell you. That will do, sir. That will do. Sit down, Scrooge. There are no marks on the body of any kind, Dr. Mortimer. Ebenezer. No. Then as his physician, what would you say was the cause of Sir Charles's death? Most emphatically, a heart failure, sir. Oh, heart disease. No more in cause of failure, That's no that, problem. gentlemen, is the verdict of this coroner's court. Call it what you like. Sir Charles was murdered. There's more than one person in this room knows I speak the truth. Oh, dude, just bring Sherlock Holmes into this. We got a precious kitty cat. All right, Becca, Becca Street! Street. 221 Baker Street. Sir Henry Baker's basketball arrival from Canada. Why? I'm blessed if I know why on earth you want all these clippings about this basketball fella. I have an idea, Watson, that young Sir Henry isn't destined for a very long existence in this world. What? My conjecture is that he'll be murdered. Murdered? It'll be very interesting to see if my deductions are accurate. Oh, Mr. Holmes, while you were out hey, of murder. He asked you to give it to me? Oh, no, sir. He just left it by mistake, I imagine. Mm -hmm. uh, Dr. Mortimer? He didn't leave his name, sir. No, it's here on the stick, Mrs. Hudson. Oh, is it? I didn't notice. Do you know any Dr. Mortimer, Watson? No. Huh? What did he want? He didn't say, sir. What do you make of it, Watson? Why should Looks I make like it? Looks like a cane. The fellow came to see you. Ah, but what kind of a fellow? Let me hear you reconstruct it from his walking stick him. by our usual method of elementary observation. Well, 
I should say that Dr. Mortimer is a successful man. Well esteemed. Good. Excellent. I should say that he does a great deal of his visiting on foot. Because the iron ferrule is, is worn down. Perfectly sound. Now, let's have a look at this inscription. Check if this use. From his friends of the CCH. CCH. I should say that's the something or other hunt. Really, Watson, you've excelled yourself. Oh, has anything escaped me? Almost everything, my dear fellow. A diet? <laughs> a person to a doctor, I'd say, is more likely to come from a hospital than a hunt. And when the letters CC are placed before the hospital, the name Charing Cross Hospital rather obviously presents itself. Oh, you, you may be right. Furthermore, I'd say the Dr. Mortimer had a small practice in the country and was the owner of a dog. How can you tell that? Quite simple. From the teeth marks. Look, you can see for yourself. A rather large dog, I'd say. Uh, the and dog then, attacks then, Dr. Mortimer will call on us again in a few moments. Rubbish, Holmes. Rubbish. How the devil can you deduce that? Well, as he left his stick, isn't it reasonable to presume that he'll come back and get it? Dr. Mortimer, sir. What a classic scene. To Mr. Prove Holmes. What this yes, wall. come in, Dr. Mortimer. <laughs> what is this? I took the liberty of calling upon and you. And left your stick. Oh, so I did. <laughs> Thank you so much. A presentation, I see. Yes, sir, from Charing Cross Hospital. Uh, this is my friend, Dr. Watson. How many times does Watson want to go? How do you do, sir? Go, go fuck Mr. yourself. Holmes, you're the one man in all England who can help me. Well, won't you sit oh, down? Oh, man, that hat. I want a word. A friend of mine is in grave danger. May I inquire his name? Sir Henry Baskerville. Heir to the estate of Baskerville Hall. <laughs> I do not fear what his life will be. Shut up. <laughs> Why, what makes you think that? Like I have information which leads me to believe that for centuries past, every Baskerville who's inherited the estates has met with a violent and sudden death. But as I recall it, Sir Charles died from natural causes, heart failure. Apparently, and that was the verdict of the coroner in which I, Sir Charles' physician, concurred. But there was one point which I kept back from the police, from everybody. Yes? Oh, About okay. 50 yards from where Sir Charles fell dead were footprints. A man's or a woman's? Mr. Holmes, they were the footprints of a gigantic hound. A hound? Well, why didn't you report it? Not a soul would have believed it. And during the night it rained. It, the they don't have to believe it. They were prints. But I saw them as clearly as I see you. And then, a few days ago, as one of the executors of the estate, I found this. This old document. Legend of the Hound of the Baskervilles. It's just a dick pic. Let me read it to you, Mr. Holmes. It's quite short. I won't bore you. That's I why I stopped him from yes, looking please, at on. it. <laughs> In the time of the Great Rebellion, about Oh, he wants to look at it himself. Baskerville Manor was held by Hugo of that name. A I don't have to pretend like you're man. reading. One Michaelmas, this Hugo stole down upon a neighboring farm. Who writes like that? He Who writes like that? And while Hugo doctors. and his friends were carousing, as was their nightly... Oh, no, even doctors can... Even doctors are worse than this. Oh, it's a silent film. Such a cuddlesome With little wench never existed before, I swear. Cheeks soft as velvet, silent. a form so wondrously rounded. Ah, tell us more. <laughs> <laughs> what happened there? Oh, Where was I? Uh, form, he was saying. Oh, yeah. yeah. No need to cry Bottom out. Bottom top. You go will not hurt you. <laughs> With that, I whisked her up on my saddle, covered her with my cloak, and we were off like the wind. You brought her here? To the manor? Where is she? Go fetch her, Hugo. He's <laughs> a pheasant, on, eh, Hugo? How can he fetch her if she isn't here? Yeah. Oh, she isn't, eh? This is the worst Three oh, Musketeers oh, ever. <laughs> there are four of them. I mean, four of them. I'm trying to read here. Upon the more more land give hugo the <laughs> there is no good go 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 wait were they going to run a train on someone is that that's a bedroom guys just just go start an old we don't stand there gaping go bring my mare What's wrong? I've never seen him in such a rage. Where's he gone? <laughs> Let's follow him. Let's go, Roderick. Farewell. Come on, Matthew. Everyone with the mustache. This way. I'll give my soul to the devil for that wench. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he takes his soul to the 
Devil for that Quick men, let's all ride to the next on, page. On they rode until suddenly they came upon the body of the girl. <laughs> and we're gonna skip a few uh, pages and. Then, from just over a rise, they heard sounds so hideous that the blood froze in their veins. And looking up, they beheld... He want a treat. He want a treat. His body literally torn to shreds. Yes, master. Such is the history of the hound that has cursed the Baskerville family ever since. Many having been unhappy in their deaths that have been sudden, violent, and mysterious. Well, Mr. Holmes. Oh. Interesting. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Very interesting. What do you think? I don't know. But Sir Henry's arriving from Canada tomorrow. Please understand my dilemma, my responsibility. I was Sir Charles' best friend. My duty is to protect that boy. If I should take him down there to Baskerville Hall and anything happen to him... Now, what I'd suggest, Dr. Mortimer, is that when Sir Henry arrives, you bring him here. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. You don't know what a load you've taken off my mind. <clears throat> Good night, Dr. Watson. Good night, sir. You're going to go seat. take that load and this put is, it in my hat. Right. Thank you. How's about Dr. Mortimer? You have a dog. As a magician no for you. Then how do you account for these marks? Evidently, the teeth marks of a dog. I used to have a dog. A small spaniel. But it died. Good I night. hit it with my Good cane. Night. <laughs> I hit him so hard he actually went. Woo! Well, Holmes, what do you make of it? Do you think there's anything in it? Good heavens, you're not going to start scratching on that infernal thing, are you? Dear Watson. <laughs> All aboard, Titanic. Here comes all the Canadians. If you ever go back to Canada, be sure you sail with us. Thanks. You've all been one. The very Build the wall. Stop, stop the Canadians. Thank you, sir. They're very much to stop them. Thank you. Oh, it's too bad. It's all over. Just when you and Betsy Ann would really... It's all over. <laughs> oh, but we are going to see one another in London, aren't we, Sir Henry? Oh, I should love to. But uh, I, I had to go down to the country, unfortunately. To your ancestral estate. How exciting. Perhaps, Betsy Ann, if you're very good, Sir Henry will ask us to visit him. Oh, dang. Yes. Self-invite yourself? The boy. Don't forget. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. That's the way of a woman in the 80s. I mean, night. In the 1880s. 1880s. <laughs> it was this still the 80s, though. Thank you for coming to meet me. Not at all, my dear boy. Did you have a pleasant trip? Splendid, thank you. I've taken rooms for you at the Northumberland Hotel, where I'm stopping. Fine. I assume you'll be staying in London for a few days. Yes, uh, I haven't seen it since I was a boy. <laughs> thank you, sir. Northumberland yeah, Hotel. Yes, Michael Fontaine, but that's only the tip of the iceberg. Sir Charles's death was a great personal loss to me. I was more than his doctor. More than his doctor, huh? Watch this. Do you have any gray coupon? What are those words? I get two of those jokes out in the stream. As you battle the life, all your reason keep away from them all. I had better handwriting than hand within that book. That? No, not at all. What do you make of it, Mr. Holmes? Why do you think that last word is printed in ink? Oh, that's simple enough. The words have been snipped from the London Times. That's evident from the topography. But the word moor is an unusual word. Your correspondent evidently couldn't find it in the newspaper. You he didn't want to cut out four letters. About this. Supernatural? Uh, tell me, Sir Henry, you just has anything else more. unusual happened to you today? You hold the ice. Of oh, anything. Unless you oh, we got to show this to Rav. 
<laughs> yeah. You lost one of your boots. Yes, and brand new ones, too. Never had them on. I put them outside the door to be clean, and when I went to fetch them, there was only one there. Brand new boots, and you, and you put them out to be cleaned? They were tan ones, Dr. Watson. It prevents them from scratching to have them polished first. Now, will you please tell me what this is all about? Surprisingly, they didn't take my you. suit. I don't know why. It's about you, Sir Henry. Your inheritance, Baskerville Hall. <laughs> and Dr. Mortimer thinks that it might not be safe for you to go down there. Safe. Is that a picture of the footprint? A wild supernatural monster <laughs> that has so cursed you Baskervilles for the last two or three hundred years. <laughs> what would you have oh, that? A family ghost, eh? Why didn't you tell me about Is that what you call art? Well, uh, sure. Mr. Holmes suggested... He's going to tell you about it now, Sir Henry. Take him back to the hotel, Dr. Mortimer. Show him that old document. Tell him everything, the whole business. I'll join you in a minute. And get Come the on, we'll back. You can tell me on the way. This is not something to joke about, Sir Henry. I Believe me. With you. See you presently. Good night. Nice. Come on, okay. Watson. Thank Watch God they're gone. Well, uh, Where are we going? You'll see soon enough. We've not a moment to lose. We're going to take in a play. What is that? A pot We're going on a trip. Is Potato is greater than a camera. Man, both man. Keep your eye on that handsome. That's handsome. You're right. He is handsome. <laughs> you can tell from the vine. Oh, is he? Oh, that's a girl glove all day long. Get your paper, evening paper. Evening paper, sir, tells all the latest news. I don't know how close. You know all about it. Thank you, sir. Evening paper. Just shoot. You're not even aiming. How can you even see? Look out! Stop! Whip up, Jeffy. Whip up, I say. Very good, sir. Away. Who was it? I don't know, but it's just as I expected. Wait, you, you thought he was going to get murdered? Not in any danger. Now, here's the number of that hansom. Yeah. Yard, the he said that if from the beginning. The I'll do my best. I'm not even. Uh, I'm not reading it. Well, not from the Hotel. Hotel. Has told you everything. I so read it for you. What have you decided? Thanks. To go there, of course. Good, that's what I thought you'd say. And if Dr. Mortimer will only guarantee that this uh, supernatural hound of his will really appear, I'd call the radio. Oh, don't say that, my boy. <laughs> Sounds like a bogey story. They tell kids to frighten them at night, doesn't it, Mr. Holmes? Yes, rather. It might interest you to know, however, that you were shadowed from my house. Shadowed? Yeah, by me. Yes, and probably have been ever since you arrived in London. Yeah, by me too. <laughs> I don't know. A man in a hansom. You must have seen me run after him and had the cabby dead And a handsome. Oh, no, no, a handsome man. Did you ever discover your mislaid boot? No. No, I know. I know. Hello. Don't don't tell me. Well, the guys, I know here. what a handsome one, is. The black ones is gone. <laughs> <laughs> I'll ring for the chambermaid. Perhaps she can explain. Yes, do. Now, why should anyone want to take an odd boot and then exchange a brand new one for an old one? Can you explain it, Mr. Holmes? Ooh, um, I know why. Account. I know why. Because I read the book. <laughs> Did you ring, sir? Yes, about that boot of mine. Oh, I haven't found it yet, sir. I've made inquiries all over the hotel. Well, it's back, the brown I mean, one. she no looks like Mrs. Potts, Ooh, the teacup sir, version. That is odd. Who else except yourself has access to this apartment? Only the housekeeper, sir, and she wouldn't do a thing like that. No, 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 of course not. I'm terribly sorry, sir. I'll do my best to find your boot. All right, thanks. Oh. Back Good to the cupboard with Good you evening, now, George. Chip. I've got him. My boot. Come on in, Clayton. Come this way. This is John Clayton, number 2704. How do you do? How do you do, Clayton? Won't you, won't you sit down? Was that, his, was that his prison number? Don't you belong. It's good of you to come. Thank you, sir. <laughs> yeah. That surely was it. Now, Clayton. Oh, I wish you'd tell us who your pair was that watched a certain house on Baker Street this evening and later followed these two gentlemen. Well, I'm glad to you. You know as much as I do, sir. Well, I was greasing Not my much, hair. I hope. The gent said as how he was a, a detective, sir. Oh, he did? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, how would you describe this, uh, this gentleman, Clayton? You can sit down, dude. I suppose about 35 years of age, sir. 
dressed like a dwarf. Let's try like if I take a seat. And a small black beard. Can you imagine Sherlock Holmes playing pocket pool right now? I can't say so. You can I sit see. down. Uh, when did he tell you that he was a detective? At the station, sir. When he gave me the two guineas, what he'd promised me. Mm -hmm. um, did he tell you his name? Yes, sir. Uh, what did he say it was? Sherlock Holmes, sir. Really? What? Uh, well, that's the name what he gave me, sir. Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> <laughs> well, whoever it is at least has a sense of humor. Here, Clayton. Here's, uh, here's something for your trouble. Thank you, sir. Go buy yourself a clue. Thank you kindly, sir. Is there anything else I can tell you, sir? Nothing at all, I think. No, sir. Good day, sir. Good day. Good day, gentlemen. So, well, uh... <laughs> well, Mr. Holmes, so the guy that was I following him was Sherlock Holmes. Perhaps. Uh, tell me, Sir Henry, when were you planning to go down to Dartmouth? Apparently. Immediately, tomorrow. I'm really awfully keen to see the old place. Uh, you'll accompany us, Mr. Holmes. Um, I'd like to very much, Dr. Mortimer, but unfortunately, I have some rather pressing business here in London. Of course, and there's no need. Please don't think me ungrateful, Dr. Mortimer. I do appreciate your concern for me. But this story of the hound is nonsense. Someone shave the center of his head off. All the rest of it, I'm sure it can all quite easily be explained. I quite agree with you, Sir Henry. Uh, but all the same, if you don't mind, I'd like to ask uh, Dr. Watson to go down with you. What, sir? If you don't mind, Watson. Gladly, if you care to come. Of course. I'll be delighted. Good. Well, oh, thank you. Thank you, Dr. Watson. Oh, and thank you, sir. The to then we'll the stalk work. the hound together. I don't take it too lightly, Sir Henry. Well, I must be going. Uh, Mr. Holmes. Yes, Dr. Mortimer. About that person calling himself Sherlock Holmes. Very interesting, Dr. Mortimer. Uh, you'll um, keep me posted, Watson. Write me daily reports. To the smallest detail, Holmes. Fine. I give him into your care, Sir Henry. Guard him well. Good night. <laughs> Guard me well. Oh, I, I like that. Oh, God. <laughs> Well, yeah, we're back from Ghost Town. Here we are, Sir Henry, on famous Dartmoor. And what a history it has. You see those rocks over there? Actually, they're stone houses built by Neolithic man 50 or 1,000 years ago. Oh, yeah. You don't yay. suppose the go back that far? Isn't that a different side of it? And over there. I did see you know Noah Holmes. It was good. That's the great Grimpen Mire. As treacherous a morass as Enola? I, I saw that too. Thousands of lives have been sucked down into its bottomless depths. I enjoy yeah, that little spot. Fascinating. Oh, it is, Sir Henry. And mysterious. No wonder the people about here have such odd beliefs. Some will tell you that nothing ever really dies upon the moor. And after That's a time, one gets like to believe it. Really? You I never that? died there. Of course not. If I believe all the legends about this place, I wouldn't live here. I wouldn't have the courage. And now, if you look... Go see the Wizard of Oz! He'll get you some courage! Sister, Sir Henry. Yeah, Henry Carville with Sherlock Holmes. That's the guy, uh... Um... How are you, Barryman? Very well, thank you, sir. Um, the Witcher. Uh, thank you. Love Mrs. him. Mrs. the butler, Sir Henry, and Mrs. Barryman. Welcome, Sir Henry. Welcome to Baskerville Hall. Thank you. Barryman was with your uncle most of his life. As was his father before him. There's well, always I hope you'll be just as happy here with me. Thank you, Henry. You know how you can tell he's a servant? No tie. Oh, that's what you meant. Baskerville Hall. And just as it's always been, Sir Henry, your uncle did some modernizing upstairs. But down here, nothing has been added or taken away since Sir Hugo's time. Well, I wouldn't like say it's the most cheerful spot I've ever upstairs. seen. I beg your pardon, sir. Bowling what time alley. do you serve, sir? Early, I think. Dr. Mortimer has to drive home. Tell the coachman to have the carriage ready after dinner. I'll tell him, sir. Like no, I suppose He's the murderer. Fresh enough. There's hot water in your room, sir. I'll it's the mate. Thank you. Whatever. The butler did it. Oh, it's definitely the best friend. Be careful, sir. These steps are a bit in need of repair. I've walked upstairs before. Come on, let's go. I'm not familiar with stairs. My dear Holmes, we arrive tonight shortly after dark. That's the tiniest detail, shortly after dark. Dr. Mortimer stayed for dinner. All right, th this is just a summary. This is not details. Casper's coming. 
Casper the ghost. Boo. Would you like a cookie? <laughs> I didn't want to startle you. I thought you might be asleep. What is it? Tell me what were you going to do if he was asleep? Rape him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, why not? He may be a handsome young fella. By the way, love him, though. Look at that house robe he's got going on there. They're both oh, wearing house nice. robes. It? Love it. Oh, my. No I shoes. Don't can't wear do that. That. Oh, he doesn't want to. Any closer, he's burning his nostrils off. Ready? Boo! <laughs> oh, nothing, sir. It was the window. The window? Yes, sir. I was just seeing that it was. Those fastened. trees look like. What does it matter whether oh. it's fastened or not? The window on the second floor. I go around every night seeing that they're fastened. Sir Charles always insisted upon it. Yeah, you look like you're sounds reasonable enough. Well, if it's properly fastened now, Barryman, you can get back to bed. Yes, sir. Thank you. You're not my boss. Oh, well, maybe you are. Anymore. Do you see anything? No. Nothing. This, this window's not fastened. It's at the pinpointed light a long way off, over there by the crags. Well, keep your eye on that point of light. And tell me what happens. I'm going to go do something interesting instead. I can't see the point of light. Do you, do you see anything now? It's gone now. What does Captain help? Just as I thought. Adamant was singing to someone. Come on, get some clothes. We'll find out. Oh, yeah, get some clothes. We're done playing. <laughs> playing. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna just stairs. <laughs> Double paint. Got myself a banana. Uh oh. Did we just freeze? I hate it when this happens. Where are we? All right. Twenty-seven. It was twenty. It was like twenty-seven forty. Remember hey, that. Twenty-seven forty. 2740? <laughs> yeah, hold on. Remember that, Coco, 2740. Remember 2740. <laughs> 2740. <laughs> just, just, rem just remember that number. 2740, 2740, cheeps. Oh. <laughs> Dang, the internet at this house is like super quick. I downloaded that whole movie and like five seconds all right and now it's failing um remember it took me like three minutes to download just like a short this i i downloaded super quick oh man that was a really sharp ending all right what do we got 20 you gotta 20. turn down your volume then <laughs> all right Right, right around there. Here we go. Try not Don't. to lose sight of it. Don't freeze. Don't lose sight of them not freezing. Yay! What? <laughs> this is not your day today. This is not <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Keith, you've been haunted by the internet. <laughs> okay, hold on. Cuckoo. Cool. Cuckoo. Cool, cool. All right. Not 2740. We're going 10 seconds ahead. Here we go. 10 seconds ahead. And out of nowhere, there's a candle. Like, that makes sense. Is that what I've been seeing from that distance? Thank God we got a second candle. <laughs> 
we've been right, looking so. for you all day. <laughs> oh no, that uh, that's definitely a torch. <laughs> that should be able to tell the difference, but it's a Neolithic it's... man. The man from the first scene. Here we go. Crouch down here. Whoever it is may come back. Go kart Bob. Is it like the book where you just you have no idea what's going on? Pretty much the whole hour into it, and then the last like ten minutes, everything just you know that's normal Sherlock Holmes. Nothing is certain until the last ten minutes. What about getting a little further away from that? Yeah. Line? Up there. Good idea. I would like to reach Sherlock Holmes, but I don't want to spend money on it. Are you mad? I hate candles. Whoever it is knows his way among these rocks. <laughs> it's a torch, for fuck's sake. You were right about Barrowman. Yes, but what connection can there possibly be between that horrible creature and, and Barrowman? You know, I have half hey, a mind to find horrible. a fellow in the morning, then notify the police and let them shadow him. No, it's the last thing that Holmes would want us to do. Our job is to watch Barrowman. Watch him like a hawk. Come on, let's get back. <laughs> I walked into a wall. Ribbit, 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 ribbit. You know, I, I'm kind of glad that Rab's not here because this dog would probably go crazy with this. Uh, oh, yeah. I have a son being at home. What do you think it is? I mean, is it's it clearly a dog, a dog or a wolf or a well, coyote. If we were back in London, it would be ridiculous. Let's get on. Look here, Doctor. You don't believe that nonsense, do you? Of course not. No more than you do. I'm not going to lie. The book was really good. What was it? That's what we must find out. The wind? A bird? What the? Did we listen to the same sound? <laughs> what? <laughs> it broke it. <laughs> Come in. I was just fake smoking my pipe. Oh, where's Sir Henry? He went out, sir. The only reason why I Where? haven't bought this book is more. because I don't find Didn't the expression Sir Henry ever ventured out there alone? I know, but I only just found out from my wife. <sighs> Maybe it was two raccoons, Final Fire. Or the guy with the two raccoons. Uh huh. Maybe it was the butler. Hello there. Is he having a dream? Is this a dream sequence? Oh, forgive my shouting at you, Dr. Watson. My name is Stapleton. I live just across the moor. How did you know my name, sir? Oh, from Dr. Mortimer, one of our neighbors. Oh, yes, sir. Hi, Sir Henry. He's very well, thank you. Well, we were a bit worried he might decide not to come here. After the rumors that followed the sad death of Sir Charles, has Mr. Sherlock Holmes come to any conclusion yet? I really can't say. Oh, is he going to honor us with a visit? I haven't the slightest idea. Well, if I can be of any help, I do hope you'll call upon me. I know this place pretty well. Thank you, but I, I don't think I shall be needing any help. Wonderful place, this moor. From a scientist's point of view, there's nothing like it. Vast, barren, mysterious. You see those bright green spots over there? Seems a little more fertile than the rest. Fertile? Yeah, black and white That's to me. That's great and mar. One false step means death. Does he need Only that yesterday, came? one of the moor ponies wandered into it. Turned me sick with horror to see it struggling. And the sound of it screams. That was a child. Oh, that. Well, the people around here say it's the hound. Surely you don't believe such rot. Dogs make queer noises. Or perhaps it's a bittern booming. A bittern? Yes, yeah, a very rare bird. Practically extinct. If anything maybe, is extinct on the Maybe someone told <laughs> Rab a hound. Look out! Stop! That was a voice. A woman's voice. 
quick. <laughs> Get the you rape quick. pistol. Another few yards, you'd have been into that mire. That was my mother. Looks innocent, doesn't it? But only yesterday, a little more pony got into it, and that was the end of it. Well, thank you for shouting at me. You're Sir Henry? Yes. Oh, I suppose I should say welcome, Sir Henry, but I'm afraid it wouldn't be sincere. Oh, that's understandable. The stranger coming here and taking the place of sincere. someone you were fond of. Oh, it's not that. doesn't want to be between no. them. Tell me, what is it? <laughs> Sounds silly, <laughs> I, I want to get away, oh, guys. Oh, it's not that ridiculous. This is awkward. Legend. I never used to believe those Dude, things. stay away so from me. But you do now. You're rich. He looks you like he's going to kiss the horse. There are so many other places <laughs> to live in the world. Interesting places. Just now, I find this place very interesting. <laughs> I don't. Um, see, well, hello, we, we all must all be left alone. Well, Dr. Watson, my stepsister, Miss Stapleton. How do you do? How do you do? Hello, Doctor. And this, I'm sure, will be... Oh, Sir Henry, my brother. How are you? Hey! I'm hey. hey. how delighted we are you decided to come here. I'm here and to stay. Well, that's <laughs> You know, it's been quite dull down here since the hall's been closed. It's... Hello. <laughs> Delighted we are you decided to come here. I'm here and to stay. Oh, that's splendid. You know, it's been quite dull down here since the hall's been closed. It's... Oh, 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 any horse can be closed. Oh, Delighted we are you decided to come here. Wait, stop. Wait, then. I okay. look forward to meeting him. All right, tomorrow night then. <laughs> thank you. And thank you again for rescuing me. How many times are you going to mess up like that? Oh, I, have a, I have a fix. I thought I was really getting annoyed by those two. <laughs> Well, this is playing. I'm gonna get another video. I can't read this shit. <laughs> <laughs> We're done reading. Read it yourself, Pat. Personal insult to Sir Henry. I would never come here this evening. Oh, but why, Mr. Franklin? As a stickler for convention. I'm not in the habit of breaking bread with my host. On the eve of breaking bread with my whole great heavens, what crime have I committed now? A most gruesome one, Mr. Stapleton, that of body snatching. What? You're a body snatcher, sir. A ghoul, a despoiler of graves. I love that body guy. Snatch. Come, Mr. Franklin. Body snatch. It's a very serious oh. charge. You can talk better. Forever. Refill Mr. Franklin's glass, will you? Thank you, my dear. That's a way to make him shut up. <laughs> and an excellent vintage it is, too. But if you're implying that I'm tipsy, sir... Oh, of course he's not. Tell us more, Mr. Franklin. You're flat out drunk, sir. According to my evidence, sir, Mr. Stapleton was seen digging among the old stone huts on the moor and removed from there a skull. <laughs> of that? <laughs> a most interesting relic, Sir Henry, of Neolithic man. I'll show it to you after dinner. 50,000 years old if it's a day. Nonetheless, sir, you removed it from the grave without the consent of the next of kin. And according to British law, that constitutes body snatching. Deny that. Body yes. snatching again. <laughs> but what good will it What's do you to prosecute Mr. Stapleton? None, sir. I have no interest in the matter. I act entirely from a sense of public duty. If you care to drop by my house someday and take a tipple of wine with me, I'd be glad to tell you a thing or two about everybody here. But I'm not drunk. Him, prowling the Grimpen Mire at night. And why he takes her with him. Oh, there's no secret about us. As you know, I dabble a bit in the occult. Mrs. Mortimer has very strong medium oh, no, qualities. Cat is here. She finds the old caves on the moor particularly conducive to psychic phenomena. Very interesting. Have you ever my, tried to my communicate with my uncle since on his death? Right oh, yes. On several occasions. But with no success. But if my wife could consent to a seance tonight, while you, Sir Henry, are present, we might... No, no, James. I not will not tonight. consent to anything. Please, perhaps some other time. Shall we have coffee in the drawing room? Why, of course, Mrs. Morgan. That fellow yeah, who was just with Joe. Nice. Yes, 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 yes. If you and Dr. Watson would care to see my little collection... Okay. Well, we're going to skip past this part, right? Just a couple seconds. We're right there. This is a room where you don't see any Please items. Of oh, fine. Please come at once. Now then, if you'll all get chairs and arrange yourselves naturally, comfortably here by the fire, as Shakespeare says, you can We're done with the motivation, the man. But will they answer? She's staring directly at the camera. If that's your attitude, Mr. Franklin, perhaps no, you wouldn't mind she's staring at the man. Oh, I'm sure Mr. Franklin didn't mean to doubt. Of course I don't. And I ask you to keep a civil tongue in your head, Dr. Mortimer. Ordering me out from under the roof of my host 
is grounds for a very nasty little lawsuit. Oh, <laughs> come now, Mr. Franklin, sit down by me. When he's now, drunk, he gets an Irish accent. Tonight, we may communicate with Sir Charles. Find out what he feels you know what, he is. what he was running away from. He will always now, Jennifer, be. you sit here, please. Sir Henry, here. Or would you please put out those lights? Certainly. Stapleton, that light, please. Dr. Watson. It's gonna get pitch black. How are we gonna be able to see? Oh. No. Never. They got a candle. If you all keep quiet, I said quite naturally. This movie oh, loves candles. Candle. Are everywhere. Your hand. Because I didn't have anything else. I'm close. Child, I'm close. Can you speak to us? Hold my other hand. Let us know if you're present. There are things that only you can explain. Speak to us, Sir Charles, if you're here. There are things that only you can tell us. Don't go into Sir light, Caroline. Can you speak to us? Let us know if you're present. There are things that only you can tell us. Bueller. I can't even speak. Sir Charles, if you're here. There are Bueller. things that only you can explain. Yeah, well, you're not letting me get a word in edgewise, woman. I've heard it before. It's nothing. It sounds like a nothing dog. Like a wind. This is not a wind. What? Or a bit I was telling Dr. Watson only yesterday about it. Sir Charles? What happened that night? What was it you feared? Tell us, Sir Charles, of all the weird, terrible things that have happened on the moor. Give him a chance, lady, to answer. Listen, there it is again. Oh, I can't stand it. Will somebody put on the lights, please? I tell you, it's nothing. Nothing but the wind. It is I. Mr. Franklin, what did you think it was? The hound, of course. The Hound of the Baskervilles. Any fool would know that. James, get my cape. Except for the guy who thinks it's a hey, well, idea. Dr. Watson, can I give you and Sir Henry a lift? No, thank you. We have our own carriage. <laughs> you didn't see the seance. You're trembling. That wasn't <laughs> Great, <yep. laughs> I've heard that sound before, often. Oh, my it's goodness. Very it's very 41, 14. Oh, here we go. Everyone. Okay. You've been alone too much. I'm to downloading do another version, but it's going to take a little bit I'm of time. Change all that, if you let me. We'll oh, go great. fishing together, riding. You like riding? Yes, I do. Good. We'll start tomorrow, shall we? Yes, thanks. Fine. I'll ride over for you in the morning. You and then you can ride me. Right, uh, oh, my goodness. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Terrible. <laughs> yeah. Terrible tonight. My dear Holmes, nothing to report except I love you, and I want oh. you to come to the Baskerville. It's a nice oh, honeymoon great, getaway. That's the greatest romance I've ever seen. On a letter. Hello. Hello, Beryl. Well, where should we go today? There's one place we haven't been. High Tor. Fine. That's where all the old ruins are. You know, Jack says that they're over 50,000 years old. That sounds interesting. And you can still see the remains of their stone huts. All right, good. What was that? It's a hound. No, it, those flattish stones over there. That's what a bird sounds like. Oh, those huge ones, monolith, the remains of their temple. Doesn't anybody know who they were or what they looked like? <laughs> Jack has some theory about them. But anyway, they must be very primitive, living on roots and dressing in skins. <laughs> but still laughing and dreaming, just as we do. <laughs> I wonder how many times some young savage... So take a hike and a dress. This very hike. That's what we do. Said, so take your hat off, darling. This is home. <laughs> You know, it's this is not like where he got his first meal else. for him. <laughs> what a yell he must have let out when she burnt it up. <laughs> and now they're quite forgotten. Just as we will be, too, one day. Well, the Do you suppose when a man met a girl that he liked, that he had to wait a respectably long time before he dared tell her? Or things like that. Sudden. Natural. I'd like to think that things were like that. Beryl. 
That's the way they are with me. Oh. Oh, but we've, we've only known each other such a little while. There, you see, convention, custom. We can't even be ourselves when we want to be. Why is that? You know, I she used to come down here quite often and explore them. these old caves when Jack and I first came to live here. I didn't have the fear of the moor then. And you've none now. That's all gone. Oh. When I'm with you, it's gone. I seem to forget it, laughing and talking. But when I'm alone, it all comes back to me. And at night, I, I still wake up trembling, as if in my sleep I could hear those awful noises. And it gets bad as ever, and I... Oh, I think of you, and I wish you weren't here. Oh, don't say that. Well, I wish he you hears London, awful oh, noises. I, wish. I wanted to go back to London or Canada. <laughs> I couldn't. Why not? Well, you'll know why. I don't have the you money. You know why. Uh -huh. I can't go anywhere now, unless you come with me. Oh, Henry. Oh, that is the greatest kiss ever. I say, he's slipping her some tongue. Oh. Would you mind uh, pausing for a minute? I'm afraid I've lost my way. Would you mind letting me? Hello, Doctor. Sir Henry and I were just. Would you mind not cock we were, we were, We were getting engaged. Engaged? Splendid. May I congratulate you? Get you ready. Thank you. Who is that? It seems that we didn't pick a very secluded spot. What do you want? Just crossing the moor, sir. Just crossing the moor. <laughs> Stop, I'd, be, uh, I'd be peddling my wares, sir. Of course, I'd, I have to I'd be very too here. close. What's interest you, sir? Well, they're being How about, engaged. A, how about a nice mouth organ, sir? No, thank you. Oh. Here, 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 here's something an old squire like you could use, sir. Some more theme. A fussel for calling your sheepdog. Calling my what? Sheepdog, sir. A regular charmer, sir. Oh, they definitely need that one. <laughs> You're a familiar surround, sir. <laughs> Take it away and yourself with it. I'll be some, I'll some scent for the lady, sir. That'll do. Be off about your business. All right, all right, sir. I ain't doing no harm. I ain't doing no harm. I'm just trying to sell my wares in this barren yeah, wasteland. Mike, let's check There's your pants. Strange. Look, he's limping on the other foot now. Yeah, some random guy comes. Oh, look, I can read this. Dr. Watson, if you want to hear something. Oh, my to God. Come at once to the stone hut. Southeast Ends of Griffin Meyer. All right. Batman. Let's keep writing like that. Like a yes, four-year-old. Who delivered this note? A four-year-old doesn't write no like one, that. I found it they don't even write. <laughs> Thank you. Wash they your speak. balls. He's stolen the baby! Oh, Bannerman, uh, is Sir Henry at home? No, sir. He's gone across the moor. Oh, I'm sorry I missed him. Did Dr. Watson go with him? No, sir. Oh, thank you, Bannerman. I'll tell Sir Henry your call, sir. Yes, do. He's spying on 1884 porn. You gotta take his pants off for that first. Should we make the sets like realistic? No, we're just gonna add a bunch of mist. That means you're having a good time, Micah Fontaine. <laughs> but I'll buy <fire>, no pants. <laughs> what kind of mist do you take? A gun pocket? I love 1800s. Oh my god. <laughs> they actually have such shit. 
Wait, that doesn't make sense. Sit down on this rock and make yourself comfortable. I would imagine that uh, gun pockets would be illegal now. Since we can't have guns. Bang! <laughs> <laughs> Was it you who sent me that communication? I did, sir. Out with it. Whatever it is you want me to hear. I, I only want you to hear this zither, sir. Zither? Zither. They don't come no finer, sir. What blasted impertinence. Getting me out here to say... Look here, my man. You're up to something. I, I only ask you to try him, sir. Be careful. This thing's loaded. Who are you? Well, I might ask the same of you, sir. Prowling around the moor, spying out on everybody. That's my business. To spy. Oh, that's my business, too. Yes, and if yeah, you want I to love know this who guy. I am, I'll tell you. Do you earn good on that business? Who are you? <laughs> I'm Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock Holmes, the detective? Yes, and now perhaps you realize why I can't be hoodwinked. Oh, sir, sir, sir. That changes everything. Now, who are and you? What? Quick! Well, in that case, sir, my name must be Watson. <laughs> Holmes! How are you, my dear yeah, I would have shot him. You are calling yourself Sherlock Holmes, so you've been down here on the moor all the time. That's a fine way to treat me, I must say. <laughs> Send me down here. Let me think that you were in London, working on that black man. <laughs> Go fuck yourself, Watson. Reports, what the heck is out there? Tell him to very valuable they were, too. I made arrangements to have them forwarded on to me. A shabby trick. You're still Shut pointing the gun at me, ah, Watson. Very necessary trick. If I'd come down here with you and Sir Henry, every movement of mine would have been watched. While in this way, only you and Sir Henry have been watched, and I've been free to work. That's all very well. But making a fool of me. Sit down, Watson. Do sit down. Perhaps a little supper. You were a fool well house. before huh? you met I'm me. I'm in no huff. Yeah, try some of these sardines. It's a pity I didn't know you were coming. I'd have provided a brace of pheasants. It's a pity you didn't think of bringing down that infernal violin of yours. To regale me with some of your enchanting music. I did, my dear Watson. Anything to apply. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay, Sherlock oh. Holmes. Well, if you've had enough to eat, Watson, and you're getting a better spirits, I think we'd better be getting along. Getting along well. I've heard of sardines. I'm, I'm returning with you to Baskerville Hall. There are still some gaps to be filled in, but all in all, things are becoming a little clearer. Not to me, I assure you. Still a hopeless jumble. Mr. Franklin? Dr. Mortimer, the Barrowmans, put it all together and what have you got? Murder, Nothing. my dear Watson. Refined, cold-blooded murder. Murder? There's no doubt about it in my mind. Murder? Or perhaps I should say in my imagination. <laughs> but that's where crimes are conceived and where they're solved. In the imagination. You don't even want to see what's in my There's imagination. There's been no murder. Unless you mean Sir Charles. And the facts clearly indicated that he died from heart failure. That's why so many murders remain unknown. Now we know the why there's smoke People everywhere. Will stick to facts. Holmes in his pipe. Even though they prove nothing. Now, <laughs> we go beyond facts. Use our imagination as the criminal does. Imagine what might have happened and act upon it. As I've been trying to do in this case, we usually find ourselves justified. Strolling down the now, another more day like the and I will know. My one fear is the murder will strike before we're ready. In that case, what's that? Oh look, the wind! Where's it coming from? Yeah. No, no, no. Are you real? Downed. Come on, Watson, quick. Are you sure it's not a bird or the wind? It's not a cat. Oh, I forgot my cat was right there. Hello, shithead. You better find them soon. You're going to run into the next set. Oh, you didn't have to go up there. Yeah, run Mr. Brown, all the way back down. Over the cliff. He's dead. How do you know? In. I know you're a doctor, but for crying out loud. Convict. Thank heaven. What? That's the man I shot at the night we arrived. The man Batterman was signaling to. Who is it? The Notting Hill murderer. He escaped from prison last month. Been hiding on the moor ever since. 
The Notting Hill murderer? Do you mean that he is responsible for all this? That remains to be seen. But he's wearing Sir Henry's clothes. Yes, yes, that accounts for it. Accounts for what? For the hound. These clothes were the cause of that poor devil's death. Do you mean that the hound was after Sir Henry? Yes, and mistook the convict for him because of the scent of the clothes. Oh, do you remember God. that missing boot, Watson? You must have a Why do you to suppose die? the brown one, the one that had never been worn, was so mysteriously replaced in the black one taken? Why? Because a boot that had never been worn wouldn't have had the scent of the owner, and the black one had. But how does this convict <laughs> come to be wearing Sir Henry's coat? Oh, well, that's that simple enough. <laughs> Why, Dr. Watson? Oh, man. Somebody hurt? Who's this? The convict who escaped from Princeton. Oh, how terrible. I heard a cry. That's what brought me over here. What's your theory about it, Mr. Holmes? You know, quick at identification. Oh, everybody well, the knows fact you, that sir. you just met Sherlock Holmes. Matter of fact, we've been expecting around like... here. My name's Stapleton. How do you do? You came in time to see a tragedy. Yes. It's most unpleasant remembrance for me to take back to London tomorrow. Oh, must you go so soon? I've been looking forward to meeting you. Yes, yes, I'm afraid I must. Well, we were hoping, Mr. Holmes, that you may be able to shed some light on the occurrences that have puzzled us down here. Yes, but an investigator needs something more than legends and rumors. Oh, quite so. Give me a hand, will you, Watson? We'd better put this poor fellow in one of the huts till the morning. Let me give you a hand. All right, I think we can manage all right, thank you. We're gonna go hide the body. All right, fair enough. Michelle didn't kill him. Where's the Henry Baron? In the library, sir. Now, oh, Baron, if your wife's still up, will you tell her Mr. Sherlock Holmes would like a word with her? Sherlock Holmes? Yes. Yes, sir. Thank you. This shirt looks very sus. Sir Henry! Holmes! I'm glad to see you so well, Sir Henry. Why didn't you tell me Mr. Holmes was coming? Uh, we got two minutes left on the other. This is why we never told you that Mr. Holmes is coming. I, uh, I think you'd better sit down. Thank you, sir. I prefer to stand. I'm afraid I have some rather bad news for you. What is it? Well, it's going to be a bit of a shock. Oh. They've caught him. Your... Your brother... They'll hang him for sure. No, Mrs. Barrowman. He's beyond the law now. He's, He's dead. merciful hands. <laughs> yeah, that's at least better. <laughs> oh, my. We came upon the poor fellow as we were crossing the moor. He must have missed his footing and fallen over the cliff. No further need, Batterman, to signal to him from the window or take food out to him or give him Sir Henry's discarded clothes. Oh, Sir Henry. It was all my doing. Batterman here wanted to tell you all along so as you could notify the police. But he was my kin. I don't even know what he is. Even though he wasn't ever any good. We understand. <laughs> You won't hold it against Bannerman, will you, sir? Of course not. Now take your own one that's fired. fired. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Well, it's nice to get that in cleared up for their sake as well as mine. It clears up everything, I think, Sir Henry. That poor devil must have been completely demented. And that accounts for those dreadful noises that we've been hearing from time to time. Exactly. Your troubles are over, Sir Henry. <clears throat> I really am most grateful, Mr. Holmes. Oh, not at all. I've done little enough. But you can sleep peacefully in your bed now and commence to lead the life of a happy country squire. Well, not for a little bit, I'm afraid. I'm off to Canada again. Canada? Beryl, Miss Stapleton and I are going to be married. Miss Stapleton? A very charming young lady. Congratulations. Everything's arranged. I would know. Her brother's giving us a farewell party tomorrow night. We'll be married in London the following day and then off for a honeymoon to Canada. My congratulations too, Sir Henry. Thanks. What luck you're here. You and Dr. Watson will be with us tomorrow night. No, I'm sorry. I, I'm afraid I can't. I must hurry back to London. And so should you too, Watson. We'll have to report to the police here about that convict in the morning, but there's a train leaving early in the afternoon. Oh, what a pity. Beryl will be dreadfully disappointed. Now, we'll remedy that when you come up to London. You must... Oh, we're being you left time with time before you sail. Did you know he was going to do that? Well, there's the old boy himself. Sir Hugo. Hugo, the beast of the Baskervilles. Not a bad bit of brushwork. By Ransom, one of the minor painters. Oh, I don't imagine it's very valuable. This I can't agree with you, eyes. Sir Henry. 
one day it might prove to be of the greatest value. Well, we must be going. Fortune! There's still one or two little points, Holmes, and I can't for the life of me reconcile with your theory about that poor demented convict. One or two little points. Are taking the train off you the ocean? Sure you can't leave London three weeks ago? Sent that yeah, letter, I do. Stole that boot? Of course not. And it's a first thing. Oh, good. It's so where are we? Remember, fifty-nine minutes. Okay, we're fifty-nine minutes in. Okay, so I got a new movie, so it shouldn't do that anymore. Where is it? Here we go. Ah. Uh, Convict last night, and we'll try again to murder Sir Henry tonight. Wow. Tonight? Unless my imagination has run away with itself, I, love I don't the think it has. And why are we rushing up to London? Leave Sir Henry entirely unprotected, and so not Ace. my dear Watson. We're just giving the impression of rushing up to London. In a minute and a half, we'll be in Oakhampton. There, we'll catch a train back to Dartmoor. If my surmise is correct, we'll never man in the end. But if you know, then here's why all this round about rigmarole. Why don't you have him arrested? Because I've no case. Not a shred of evidence that would hold in any court. He's the only way talk. is to catch him red-handed. To catch him in such a way that there's no escape. No alibi. That means gambling with Sir Henry's life. But you can't pop Gambling to save his life. But we've got to take that chance. Snake eyes. Otherwise, the shadow of sudden <laughs> death will be forever hanging over his head. And so what is this later. supposed to be? Here we are, old Captain. Come on. And may you both spend the rest of your years together in happy contentment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And now I want to thank you all for the That's kindness that you've shown the stranger. And when Beryl and I return, I want you to know that you'll always be welcome at Baskerville Hall. Oh, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Except for you. It's going to be lonely for you, Mr. Stapleton, with Beryl gone. Yes, indeed it will, Mrs. Mortimer. The I shall be more dependent than ever upon you, my neighbors. Don't count upon me, sir. In my opinion, you're a body snatcher. And until the courts have decreed otherwise, I want nothing whatsoever to do with you. <laughs> oh, Mr. Franklin. <laughs> He's drunk again. How sweet. I say, driver, can't we go a little faster? I'm doing the best I can, sir. Shoot you one of the horses and be like... Sit faster, not break our break faster. How far is it to Basketball Hall? It's five miles by road, sir, but if you want to cut over the moor, it's only about three. Here you are. Come on, Watson, quick. Thank you, sir. It's been a wonderful evening, Stapleton. Well, glad you could be with us, Mortimer. Thanks. He could have got his coat all by himself. Take this brooch, my dear, and wear it on your wedding dress. It belonged to my great-grandmother. Something old, something new. <laughs> you know. Oh, something that's so sweet of you, Mrs. Mortimer. Thank you so much. And come back. Excuse me, I can't see shit. Of you. We will. May I offer you a lift, my lad? It's such a beautiful night, Mr. Franklin. I think I'll walk, thank no. you. No, it's still loading over here. Go, go out, go out, and come back in. It should be playing. Oh, yeah, it's playing. Oh, it's playing. Yeah, it's playing. Yeah, it's playing. I paused it. Waiting for Remy. Remy, 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 Remy. She was loading. I wouldn't want her to miss the ending. We only got like uh, 15 minutes left, including credits. How are you guys all doing tonight? You enjoying this movie? This is not a bad movie, I must say. We've we've seen worse. We've seen worse. What happened to read me up oh, this dishes? Okay, let's put it. All right, we're back on track. You can see, okay. Could could you hear it and not see it, or you just? I can't. I could not hear shit. I could not see shit. I only knew from you that something was going on. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. It was playing like normal. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here we go. Uh, you missed her giving uh, the woman a brooch uh, that was getting married. I don't know if that has anything. Well, to do we all with knew it. they were getting married. Yeah. <laughs> Rejected if That's you like. Right. Get up there. You're not going to cross the moor alone, Sir Henry. Why not? There's, there's no nothing kitty. to fear anymore. I can't be sure. Oh, but I have Mr. Sherlock Holmes' own word for it. Come along, James. 
You know I can't drive. Good night, Sir Henry. Good night, Mr. Mortimer. And the best of luck to you both. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Since when was horse riding driving? Good night. Good night. Can you blow out the candle? No? All right. I wish you'd let us drive you home. I wanted to stay and say good night to you. This is our last good night. From tomorrow on, there won't be any more, ever. Tomorrow we'll be away from this place. I wish it were now. So do I. Oh, now, don't be silly. How cute. Good night, Daryl. Good night, dear. He's got a cute ass. Oh. But he walks like a fool. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing, Fall of Fire. Those well, girls. Well, nice party. Wonderful. Everything, and most of all you. How can you make Jack, them? I haven't said very much about going away, but you know how I feel. Yes, of course. It had to be. Well, you won't be too dreadfully lonely, will you? Well, I shall have my work. And... Oh, Henry and I'll be back before you even know it. Yes, of course you will. Well, you better go to bed now. You've got a big day ahead of you tomorrow. Good night, Jack. Good night, dear. Dang, is he trying to look up her dress? They're both sus. This is a game of Among Us. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's definitely sus now. We know those gloves, don't we? Why is he From wearing a lady? gloves? A lady's glove? <laughs> you remember like it. it. You remember it. The lady gloves. So where's your gun? Just casually strolling. Yeah, but these gloves did fit, so we don't have to equip. <laughs> Cut the cigar smoke. <laughs> oh, dead body raping time. Oh. That smell good. I'd be mad too if you locked me in a crypt. Here comes the hound. Incoming. Up there. We'll head him off. I better take the 30 minutes it takes for me to get dressed. <laughs> you are way too happy at that word, file of fire. Bless you. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, look, a hound. <laughs> well, I was supposed to look. I can't see shit. Yeah, what, what was he looking at? The sound. The frogs. I know there's some plot around here somewhere. We just gotta find it. <laughs> the plot is most about the morning king around the, fog, the fog. Forever. Time to run away from the dog. Let's go, let's go. Oh, you dropped your hat. No, so no, no, get for you. And oh. he's dead. Not yet. 
kick him in the door of the hound balls. Well, you're right. It was the butler. Kind of. It ain't nothing but a hound dog biting at me. Crying all the time. <laughs> you ain't nothing but a hound dog crying all the time. Yay! Dang, this guy is like straight up wrestling this dog, like legit. Oh, they're dancing. Dancing queen. You ain't no friend of mine. And they shoot the man on the dog. He's dead. You know, always a good idea to actually sign in. <laughs> Keep sausages <laughs> in your pocket. True. Yeah, but this is 1882. They only have gun pockets. Tree pockets ain't a thing here. He's coming too. <laughs> You'll be all right, old man. Yeah, the kids that really do that. Stones? Yes. What? What? What was it? We've got to get him home quickly. Can you manage him I alone? Call it. Because I've got things to I do. Call it. Help get his arm around my shoulder. I have better things to do than save the I'm life right. of the guy I'm here to do. <laughs> I did that well. Oh, I used condom. All right, that was nice. Fantastic. Next. Somebody had a fantastic evening there. <laughs> no shit, Sherlock. <laughs> well, they did, they did avoid getting the babies, though. Why did you wait until now, Michael Fontaine, to say that? <laughs> 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 oh, that was good. We should have been saying that this whole time. Keep, keep thinking, Watson. One below to the father dog crap, though. Hey, I think I found a crap. Don't touch it. Just shoot him. <laughs> I was waiting for my spot. Perfect Two time men spot. searching for crap. By golly, it's a shoe. You know what that means? I don't know. That doesn't mean anything. <laughs> oh, that. No, but that one does. No, oh, for crying Did you out have loud. to step in? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you, you, you kind of asked for that, Sherlock. That was the dumbest shit he's no. ever done. What? It's not like there's anything else you can see from in there. I mean, that was elementary, my dear Sherlock. Yeah, you stabbed that door. It's a bad door. Murder that door. That's what I do when I get home. I just take everything off and throw it in a corner. Now, Mrs. Barryman, some girls, please. I just heard the dreadful news. Thank heavens you're safe. Is he all right? Well, now we know for certain that this is no legend, no myth. There really is a hound. Was a hound? Yes, Mr. Holmes told me. I ran into him across the moor. He asked me to send you to him at once. It's a matter of great importance. He said he'd wait for you at the spot where the, where the beast was killed. I must finish here first. This poor boy has taken a terrific beating. Well, uh, I can carry on for you, Doctor. I'm a bit of a doctor myself, you know. Do you think you could manage? Yes, I'm sure I could. I think you really ought to go, Dr. Watson. Mr. Holmes was most urgent. You got my degree at clown school. Really? You really want them to leave. 
I, uh, I shall need some hot water, Mrs. Bannerman. Oh, I want it boiling, please. Yes, sir. Just kill him now, like that. It must have been a terrifying experience, Sir Henry. Terrifying. It was. It was indeed. Yes, I can see you're still weak from loss of blood. I can't say I feel any too well. Oh, he's roofing. Yeah, drink this, Sir Henry. You'll feel much stronger. I'll see to your other bandages after. It's a cup of opium. <sighs> Oh, it may taste a little bitter, but don't mind that. I just peed in it. Sir Henry! Yes. Well, love the pee. Feeling better? Yes, thanks. I say that's uncomfortably close to your eye, isn't it? No along this side? Huh? Well, well, well. <laughs> Remy is bleeding into the mic again. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. That sorry. was clumsy of me. There's only a bit of a it's tonic. Way too Sir close. Henry's lost considerable blood. Yes? Henry! Henry! I'm all right, darling. Oh, no, you're not. We heard those dreadful noises on the way home. It's a mercy he's alive. I owe you an apology, Sir Henry, for jeopardizing your life. Jeopardizing? But you saved my life. But there was no possible way for me to foretell the fun. And I must apologize, too, for deceiving you last night. Uh, when I told you that uh, your troubles were over, uh, I knew that they uh, weren't. But if I hadn't cleared out, the crisis which came tonight would have been indefinitely postponed with the shadow of death hanging over you. And over you, too, Miss Stapleton. Shadow of you death, not with all happen. these candles. How could you know? The person who wanted to snuff out your life, Sir Henry, was the same one who plotted to kill your uncle. He wanted to get you both out of the way so that he could lay claim to this place, to the whole Baskerville estate. In tracing back his lineage, he discovered not only that he was the next of kin, but also learned of that old legend about the hound. So he brought the hound to life by the simple expedient of buying the most savage dog that he could find and hiding it here on the moor until he needed it. If he had succeeded tonight, the blame would have fallen on the legendary monster, and no possible suspicion would have been attached to him. A most ingenious device. And I'm quite sure that he would have had no difficulty in proving his claim to Baskerville Hall and all that goes with it. I don't think animal attacks The most amazing instance device. of a throwback that I've ever seen. That's not the same picture. <laughs> and you can see it yourself. Stapleton. One move and I'll shoot. Jack! Bang! You're under arrest, Stapleton. For the murder of Sir Charles Baskerville, the murder of a convict, and the attempted murder of Sir Henry. You can't arrest me, Holmes. I one move from any of you and I'll blast you all a kingdom come. Man, these oh, guns no, are like super secure. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter, old man? What's the matter? That's our man. That's my rig with Stapleton, the murderer? He won't get very far. I've posted constables on both the roads, and the only other way... <laughs> he used 23 is across the Gruppen Meyer. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Miss Stapleton. I wish I could have spared you this. Well, that officially closes the case, Sir Henry. And a very interesting case for your annals, Watson. An ordinary dog, an ingenious criminal, and a more ingenious detective. I owe you a tremendous debt of gratitude. Oh, we all do, Sir Henry. Mr. Holmes, we've admired you in the past, as does every Englishman. Your record as our greatest detective is known throughout the world. But this, seeing how you work, knowing that there is in England such a man as you, gives us all a sense of safety and security. God oh, bless you, Mr. Holmes. Thank you, You're Dr. Still sus. Thank you. And now, if you don't mind, I've had rather a strenuous day. I, I think I'll turn in. Of course. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, Mr. Holmes. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Oh, Watson, the needle. Care to join me in bed, Watson? Oh, We're gonna for play sure. Doctor. Doctor Watson in my bed. Coming, coming, coming in. No. Man, look, they fit the whole cast on one frame. That's amazing. Uh
I mean, fuck the production CBS, people. For real? They, they, we don't, they don't get credits, only the cast. <laughs> oh, that was a time where they didn't need it. They just okay. Hey. So in the book, that guy dies. He doesn't just run away. He actually goes into the moors because there's, there's like quicksand. They mentioned it in the beginning of the movie. Like, oh, don't go. You, you almost sank. It was quicksand. Like, in, not quicksand, but it's like swamp. Like, you know, the uh, the swamps in um, Lord of the Rings where he kind of falls down. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, that those that's what that's what's there. And uh, uh, he ends up running into the woods or running into the moors and actually sinks into the swamp quicksand thing so he actually dies that's that's how it, it is in the book he doesn't just run away i was a little disappointed that he'd run away it was yeah, this, this movie i totally avoided his death it was a doggone good movie and not to mention uh there are two dead dogs in the book so they killed the hound that you saw but then there was another dog. Remember that guy who mentioned he used to have a dog? Yeah. Well, uh, well, yeah that, that dog was fed to the hound. Oh, shit. So the bones that were inside that uh, that grave thing, that was that guy's dog. They didn't... Oh, man, they should have added that. That would have been so cool. Yeah, yeah, that's that's in the book. So that's it. That, it was kind of cool. I mean, they kept it pretty close. I remember all that was all in the book. So, yeah. I think they, yeah. they miss uh, Sherlock Holmes uh, shooting up morphine in the beginning of the book. But it might not have been that book. <laughs> it was one of the four books where he shoots morphine and, or was it cocaine? I think it was morphine he shoots up. But it, he does oh, both. Man. So, Just think Sherlock Holmes would do drugs. A bog of eternal stench. She does. Sherlock Holmes oh. does drugs. Tons of drugs. He's a drug addict. He is. And he's a... We, it's funny. We focus on, on how smart he is because he's like, you know, elementary. But he actually, when it when it's not detective work, he is a, he is a literal moron. <laughs> like, if you ask him, a dead serious. You never hear about this. But like, like, if you were to ask Sherlock Holmes how a combustion engine worked, he would have no idea because it has nothing to do with with detective. His possession. Work. He probably doesn't even know how his gun works. Like these are the things. But he could match bullets. Like <laughs> that's 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 how Sherlock Holmes was. For instance, he uh, he. He's a okay botanist, but he doesn't know how to plant anything. He just knows what's poisonous and what's not because the poisonous things have to do with detective work. It's very interesting how 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 knowledgeable he is, but only in specific areas. Otherwise, he has no clue. He There's is no a he legit Forrest Gump. Yeah, when, when Watson tried to de describe the solar system, the solar system to Sherlock Holmes, Sherlock Holmes <laughs> had no clue what he was talking about. Like, what, what? he goes, oh, the the Earth re revolves around the sun? Oh, that's interesting. And <laughs> Watson's like, what the, what the uh, fuck? Other than that, you... the only useless thing that he actually knows is to play uh, yeah. the violin. Oh yeah, play Technically. the violin. That's 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 also taken it lately. He can play the violin very beautifully too, but normally he doesn't. He just scratches the violin with the bow, just scratches it. I can't scratch shit. That's all he does when he's thinking. He's such a weirdo guy. He's such a weirdo guy. But they never show that in in the uh, in the movies. But if you read the books, you'll be like. My God, that guy is such a—he's such a weirdo. Oh, and, now I want to. Oh, and he hates women. Oh, really? Oh my gosh, because he totally hates women. Like, like Watson's like, oh, should I go question her? He goes, no, don't go question her. Um, she's a woman. Even at the best of times, you can't trust them. 
That's why he says, like, that's a quote. Uh, that's why he lives books. with Watson. <laughs> oh, do you know why he lives with Watson? Um, there's actually a reason. Uh, when Sherlock oh, Holmes okay. came in, um, Sherlock Holmes is uh, uh, was looking for, no, when Watson came to London, Watson was a uh, doctor in a war, and he actually got hurt, and he got a pension, so he gets a lifelong pension, and so Watson um, goes to London in search of a, a ruby so that, so that he can save some money, basically, and he has a friend uh, who also knows Sherlock Holmes, and the friend introduces him to Sherlock Holmes as a roomie. And he says, you know, I'll, you know, I'll introduce you. And he, he has a place that's really cheap, but he's kind of an eccentric. And, and so Watson says, all right, I mean, I'll give it a try. And he meets Sherlock Holmes and it's such a weird thing that transpires. And uh, yeah, so that Watson does agree to live with Sherlock Holmes. But yeah, one thing that they never, I, I'll tell you, if you guys haven't read the book, the books, even the first chapter of the books are just so bizarro when it talks about Sherlock Holmes. He's, and, and, oh, one thing in the movie, right, is that Watson is actually at Baskerville for like four weeks, three, a couple of months, I think. Oh. And Sherlock Holmes is there the entire time, the entire time he's at the moor <laughs> living in that cave. Like he spent the entire time in the cave for two months eating sardines and bread, I think it was. So that part was true. They were made reference to the sardines, but the guy's such a weirdo. They never uh, he talk doesn't about get him. enough nutritious. What the hell? Oh, it's so if you haven't read the book, I promise. I, I recommend I still have that comment up, but I recommend what reading the books. You can you could probably go to the library. Buy all four books, I think, is like $10. I will not buy four. that many books. In, oh my well, it's, all, no, it's all together. Because the, the way Sherlock Holmes reads is it's made to read in one sitting. It's similar to like, um, um, who's that other guy who said that uh, he likes to make short stories um, to read uh, in one sitting? Sherlock Holmes books, you can pretty much read in one sitting. So, But they're, they're good. They're The four books, there's only four of them. You know, they made a bunch of little mini series and stuff, but the actual written books, there's only four of them, and and they're they're really good. I re I, I I recommend them. Anyway, if I ever find them in the thrift shop, I would love to buy them. If as long as they're in English, because I don't read really Danish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't want to. Well, I would say they're in English because you know, yeah, I mean, you'd want to. If you can read English, the book was written in English, so it'd probably be the best, you know, you actually get the version that the, the author wanted you to hear. Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely. Thank you for coming, Remy. I don't think this would You're have welcome. been... This one, this one would have been half as fun if I had to do this alone. Because, you know, we had to give Rav a day off. Crying out loud, he just asks for so much all the time. <laughs> Hey, well, we finally got to go to a concert. That's... He's I'm, having the time of his life. I'm surprised he didn't ask me permission. It's so funny. He did like he asked me. He, he usually asks me if he can do stuff, and of course, you know, I always. Oh no! This say time no, he's not going to ask. This, this, is, this, this time, is his time. This time he just video calls me in, while he's at the concert. <laughs> He actually made sure to call me before before we started to see if I'm awake. Yeah. 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 Well, I felt oh, real okay. special. You know, they, you think of it. Rav? Now, I've known Rav for about four or five years, but I've never met Matt Rav. He lives in Peru. I've never met him. He just lives in yeah, Peru. Yeah. The guy <laughs> goes to a concert and thinks of me and calls me <laughs> while he's at a concert. I feel super special. I'll be honest. I I, I felt the love. That he thought about me enough while I was at this concert to actually oh, call magic. me. I mean, that's love. If, if if that's not love, I don't know what is. I was I I felt it. But yes, oh, I should tell him that. 
<laughs> I already told him that. I, of course, I already told him that. <laughs> I told him right to his face. <laughs> but yes, thank you, Remy, for coming on tonight. Because I would have sent you the link anyway, the, you know, hour before, like I usually do. And uh, uh, so, uh, but you probably would have slept through uh, it. Surely. I'm not, uh, I'm not spamming you, you know, oh, at no. three in Don't the morning. If you can't make it or if you're asleep, I, you know, there's no, no problem. But I really enjoyed you on. I enjoyed File Fire, Michael Fontaine, Go Kart Bob. You guys were fantastic, hilarious. You know, it's funny. I I put this show on, you know, to 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 be entertaining. But to be completely honest, it, it's really come to the point where I put this show on to be entertained because you guys entertain me just as much. It's so it's hilarious. <laughs> I look like I can see Father's date night to make up for last night. Hope he's enjoying the night. Uh, he probably is. He probably is. He deserves it too. He works. He works a ton. Rav works a ton, and we we knock on him. You know, it's part of the show. Part of the show is to make fun of Rav. It's it's just become part of the show, and, uh, and he Actually, knows it. Actually, part of the show is to uh, satisfy a sadistic uh, needs. Yes, yes, <laughs> just it is. On this video. <laughs> just remember, I'm there is some... us through this torture. So, some of the things we do, like things I do to Rav and stuff, some of it's actually scripted. You know, some of it's just fake. So, you just remember that, like things when I make fun of Rav, or or I always, I've always cut him off at the very end. You know. Um, um, the the when the credits roll, he goes to talk and then I roll credits so he can't even finish his damn session. <laughs> <laughs> I started to do that and, and I think it's the funniest thing. He went to go see, get this, he went to go see uh, uh, Spanish Blues. Spanish, Spanish Blues? Yeah, yeah. Um, there's a band okay. called Amen. Right. Oh no, he did rock today. He said he went to a rock uh, concert. But yeah, that doesn't when, look like that. But when I asked him, he sent me a link of a band called Amen, which I mean, I guess I don't know if I'd call it rock. It'd be, it's more like blues. Let me and, hear that. Let me hear. The uh, I, I can't hear it. I I, can, I, I, can I, I haven't heard anything. What's this? What, what was that? That's from Rave. Oh, that's from Rave? All Whatever right. it is, it's definitely not Spanish. Yeah, that's not blues, though. <laughs> Amen. Yeah, he sent me a, he sent me a link to Amen, which was, uh, it's, it's, it's like, it's blues. It's most definitely blues, but it's very California blues. Shall no, we listen I, to Amen? We can't, we can't. But uh, uh, yeah, amen, as in like praying. Amen. But we'll we'll say we'll say goodbye. We'll say goodbye now. Um, very good movie. I actually enjoyed that movie. That was really fun. What do What do we have? What do we, real quick? What do we, What do we have next? We got uh, we got the game, which um. Remy yeah. hasn't actually been a part of yet. Uh, Not at all. But she would, she would, she would, you would have so much fun. So much fun. Um, then that's on Monday. And then on Wednesday, we have, uh, oh, Night of the Blood Beast. Oh, I, by the way, everyone who's seen that thumbnail of Night of the Blood Beast um, has um, randomly messaged me with, with how uh, wrong that thumbnail was because <laughs> I put my face on top of a girl's body wearing a bikini. <laughs> but it, that's, what, that's what I do now. Um, but yeah, so Wednesday we got Night of the Blood Beast, which is from 1958. Uh, science fiction horror film. It's another horror film. And um, yeah, that's that, that, that looks, I mean, it looks good. Um, I'm I'm looking forward to it. So, you want to say goodbye, Remy? 
Yeah, guys, you will see me on weekends anyway. <laughs> All right, you guys so have see a. You too, then. You guys have a fantastic night and um, steer clear of uh, raccoons. Good night. Excuse me?